Hello students, welcome to today's science class and today is 3rd June and we are going to start a new lesson, lesson number 4 and what is the name of lesson? That is skeletal system. So this is beginning of the chapter so you have to write down chapter number on the top and name of the chapter on the top of your copy okay and write down today's date as well and do not forget to put margin then you will write down objectives for the chapter i will be giving you in the written so what are the things we are going to learn in this chapter that means objectives of the chapter we are going to learn about the skeletal system what actually is a skeletal system okay then we will learn about the function of skeletal system then we will learn about how to keep our bones healthy and later we are going to study about skeletal system in different animals okay now let's move ahead oh ho did you get scared me too okay student don't get scared with this okay this is our skeletal system instead i will uh, like to ask you to draw your interest in this particular skeletal system so that it will help you to learn better okay so don't get scared this is our skeletal system and let us learn more about this scary skeletal system so what are the things we are going to learn in today's class so what are the objectives here we are going to learn about bones okay then we will learn about what are joints so let's move ahead and see here all in incidents is mentioned here in your book page number 15 it is given in page number 15 see here there was a boy named asif who fell while he was cycling okay he hurt his leg and his mother took him to doctor doctor asked him to get an x-ray picture of his leg see here this is the x-ray picture so what do you think is actually x-ray and how it is helping us X-ray is actually picture, special type of picture which is take, which tells us about about our internal body. Okay, especially our bones. Okay, if there any crack is there, that time it will depict. Now let me show you something here. First picture is of a normal bone, and the second picture that is of a cracked bone. You can see the difference in these two pictures, student. Yes, you can see now. So, for that reason, x-ray is very helpful. Okay. If something has happened in our internal body part, that time it can be very helpful. Okay. Let's move ahead and learn about bones. Yes. What are bones? Understanding bones, let us do one thing. Hold your hand here tightly. Do you feel some hard substance here? Yes, in your finger here. Yes, here. Do you feel something hard inside? Yes, that actually is bone. Okay, and it is actually giving shape to your body. Okay, uh, now let me tell you one more thing here. You might have seen your mother hanging cloth in a hanger. Okay, so when hanger is there, that time the shape of cloth is perfectly very fine. It is just looking like a man is it is just looking like a person is there isn't it but when hanger is removed that time what happens to the cloth can it stand by itself erect no na so that is what is going to happen with our body if i remove bones from my body it will just a mass of flesh and it will be just mass of flesh and muscles nothing else okay to give proper structure to our body bones are needed okay and see one more thing it is given in your book page number 15 that when we were born that time we were having 300 bones okay but later now as an adult we are having only 206 bones Yes, why, why does this happen student? Be this happened because when you were born that time some of your small bones joined together or fused together to form one bone. Okay, so that's why when you were very small or you were born that time you were having 300 bones and some of your bones fused together. Now you as an adult you are having 206 bones in your body. Okay, and what are the functions of bone student? 
see here one is it gives support to your body that means it gives shape to your body okay and it help also help in protection of internal organs you remember in our last class we have read about our internal organs uh, heart there yes lungs there intestine there your stomach there these are your internal soft organs so there should be some heart covering outside otherwise it will be damaged yes or it will be injured so function of bone first is second is protection of soft organs okay and now third is movement okay our just because of our bones we are able to move without that we will not be able to move we will be sitting one place only so this bones help in movement of our body okay so they are very helpful for us Okay, they together with muscles in our body they together work to help our body to move okay now let's move ahead and see what are joints see here what are joints joints are those places where two bones are meeting see here here first bone is here yeah jo joints are two are places where two bones are meeting how many bones at least two bones are meeting see here this area can you see here student this is first bone and this is second bone they are meeting here then this red red area you can see now that is joint okay so uh, let us have few example of joint one is your knee what is this area student this is your knee here okay tell me a few more elbow yes here one bone and another bone these two bone are here and what you know what is the use of joint in our body they help in folding and movement of bone okay you can fold hand just because you are having a joint otherwise if this area i'm not having any joint here am i able to move this no you can move your fold your hand at elbow just because it is having a joint here too so what we have learned in today's class we have learned that skeletal system is made up of many types of bones in our body yes and we have also learned that joints are the places where two bones meet rest student we are going to learn in our next class okay